Hey, it's Wendy Valencia, and I am really excited to be bringing you our March budget today. So let's jump right into it. Wow, that sounds so cheesy. So in our first category of our budget is utilities. Mauricia, Melina, and I live with my mother and father, so we don't pay rent. So we don't have rent, we don't have lights, we don't have all of those things in our utilities category. In this category, we have our cell phone, which is high. I realize it's high. It covers Mauricio's cell phone and my cell phone. We have high data plans. And the reason we have such high data plans is because of the jobs that Mauricio is doing right now. He is out constantly. He streams music. His apps require data. So we keep the data plan extremely high. We've cut it back a couple of times, but we, every month, we're like right there with the amount of data that we're using. Our storage unit is $355 a month. We have a five bedroom, like a 4,000 square foot house worth of stuff in there. The storage unit is, I think it's like 15 by 20. It's huge and it's full to the gills. I will uh, take you there sometime and, and show you around. It'll involve, you know, crawling over boxes, I'm sure. Now, one thing that should be in this category, I actually have it in a later category, but you're not gonna see it, is how much money we contribute to my parents every month. And it, honestly, that's personal. We're gonna keep it to ourselves. I hope you understand. Transportation. This is a huge category for us because Mauricio lives in his car. His car is his job. So it's very important that his car is impeccably maintained because if his car breaks down, our income is Car wash service. We pay for a monthly car wash service um, when Mauricio is going to be Ubering. So I don't think he is planning on Ubering this month, so no need to pay for the service. Gas. I have lowered this slightly from 500 to 400. And the reason is because in February, and you'll see that video on Wednesday, I had it set really high. We usually set it at $500 every month, but Mauricio Ubered a lot in February and we didn't break $400. So I'm lowering that down to $400 and I think that should cover us. Oil change. Mauricio, again, drives a lot every month. So he pretty much has to change his oil every month to maintain his car. He, he sometimes drives like 250, 300 miles a day. So yeah, we're changing the oil constantly on his car. Easy pass. This is the, the local Dulles access road and they auto charge me $70. I have it in the budget every month. I don't get charged for it every month, but I do put it in there just in case they do charge me because it's a hundred percent dependent on how much Mauricio drives on the toll road. I never take the toll road. Um, I'm never in enough of a hurry to take the toll road. Floor mats, that's in there every month because Mauricio wants these super expensive floor mats for his car and we just haven't bought them yet. And you know, they are a low priority, but I keep them in there to remind me that he really wants them. And the next categories are my personal property taxes. And, you know, they only come in October, but I leave them in there so I never forget about them. And then Mauricio has a 70,000 mile service on his car. So I put in $250 for that. I have no idea how much it costs. I looked up online. That's about the average price it's supposed to cost. Next category is Melina. $14.79 is for Melina's school tuition, which ends soon, August. I'm like living for August when she starts public school. Swimming. That's one of those things that I would like to have someday, but she doesn't have it. We are discussing Spanish lessons. M Melina is being raised a bilingual child. I speak to Melina in Spanish the most, which is weird. Mauricio always defaults to English, which I think is so strange. I want Melina to learn Spanish from a native Spanish speaker. So at some point we are going to have her in actual Spanish classes where she learns to read and write in Spanish. But right now we don't have the money for that. This category is the stores category. And this is where most people have their groceries and their beauty supplies and their incidentals and all of that. I have changed this category because this is not the way I like to budget. I actually budget by store because it's just so much easier when I know that we're going to go to the store. I put, I can buy anything I want. I have this amount of money. So Trader Joe's, Harris Teeter, miscellaneous grocery store is just when I stop at a random grocery store. Sally Beauty is when I need hair color, which I only do every few months. It's like 20 bucks. Uh, Sephora, 
I put this on here because I love Sephora, but I don't usually allocate money to Sephora. And then my personal favorite is Amazon. And we almost always have $100 in Amazon for things that just come up every month. Next is insurance and tax. USAA is our car insurance and our renter's policy, which we have on the storage unit. Uh, CMFG is a life insurance policy that we have. My in, my life insurance, in addition to the life insurance policy that I have through work, I have an additional life insurance policy through USAA. And that's pretty high because of some pretty severe health issues I had. Life insurance for Mauricio, obviously he's much younger than I am, so it's much lower. And then we have the CPA for our taxes this year. And because Mauricio is self-employed, our taxes are going to be quite costly this month, this year. He estimated anywhere from $300 to $600. I went ahead and budgeted $600 just to be on the safe side. Okay, our miscellaneous category, iTunes, auto drafts, that's all the different apps that we have. We've cut this back significantly. Weight Watchers. Now, most of you will find it shocking, but I actually still attend Weight Watchers meetings every Saturday because I love the group of people. I find it very motivating and I will never quit Weight Watchers because I'm a huge Weight Watchers fan. I am adopting a lot of Elizabeth Benton's principles but I like the community with Weight Watchers. Um, I don't necessarily track points right now with the program I'm doing. We have $200 for blow money. Mauricio gets $20 a week. I get $20 a week. Mauricio's haircut is $25. And you can see we have no dry cleaning. I'm not getting my haircut this month. So now debt. I'm... I may or may not gray out this balance category because they are completely screwed up. So these are all our debts and I don't think I've ever gone over our debts one by one. I actually have a plan to do that to discuss all our debts, but for now we have overdraft, the one credit card that we've had, our car loan, a loan for a tax issue, that we had involving me taking money out of retirement, USAA, Navy Federal. Our next category is called We Are Dumb Bleep. I put a $100 cushion in this category every month. And then on day one of the month, I actually zero, I bring this number down to zero. And the reason is because it allows me to add up to $100 of incidentals, parking, you know, Mauricio really needs to go to the bathroom while he's out and needs to stop at a Starbucks. He has to buy a cup of coffee, so he gets the cheapest one, you know, $1.85. So, you know, those kind of things, an emergency that comes up, maybe we need some medicine for Melina or something like that, you know, that covers us for the majority of the time. Now, my advice to you is if you are just starting out, you put this at about $500 because when you are first learning to budget, you cannot anticipate things that will come up. My next category is my YouTube category. Now, I, at some point, I'm going to have to take this out and have it completely separate so it's not intermingled with our personal stuff. But for now, it's personal. And TubeBuddy, I pay for TubeBuddy. They're one step above the basic, so it's four fifty a month. I pay for PicMonkey, the the highest version because I love PicMonkey and I want access to everything. Backblaze is five dollars, and that's the service that backs up my computer. So, God forbid, my computer gets stolen or it crashes or whatever, I have everything, and it's constantly running in the background. And I highly recommend them. It is totally worth the five dollars every month. For that peace of mind. And now this month, this is going to be a luxury. I really would like to grow this channel and I have some really interesting ideas and I wanted to speak with a professional, somebody who really gets the YouTube algorithm. So I'm starting with a channel review to see what they recommend for me and where to go from there. So you might be seeing some changes coming up. And then lastly, is our sinking funds. And I did a whole video on sinking funds and oh my goodness, what peace of mind I have now with sinking funds. Once you are well-established in your budget, 
I cannot recommend sinking funds enough to you. Knowing that money is there if there is an emergency is just so calming to me. Our medical sinking fund, we put $50 a month. We will always maintain a $750 minimum. So this amount could change month to month based on what we take out. And the reason is, is because we have a $750 deductible. So I want that $750 there. We may be upping this over time because really my neck injections, as I discussed in my sinking fund video, um, they cost about $150 every three months. We have a car repair and replace fund and we want to keep a minimum of $3,000 in there and that's obviously going to take us a while to get there. My car is old. It's a 2005. It's got a lot of miles on it. It's running great, but you never know what's going to happen. And if, you know, God forbid the transmission goes out or something, it may not be worth the car to repair it. So for now, we would probably cash flow any repair but over time we might just opt to replace it. So we wanna have that built up. So we're contributing $100 a month to that. Christmas is $100 a month. Our emergency trip to Columbia, we're gonna set around $2,000 and that is literally for an emergency. Like someone passes away, pretty much that would be the only emergency I can imagine that we would travel to Columbia for. And then miscellaneous school expenses for Melina is $25. And one thing I did this month that I'm really super excited about is I went to Capital One 360. And hey, if you want to use Capital One 360, I do have a link below where you get, I think, $25 uh, free for opening an account. It's free money. That's always good. And so go check them out. But what I did this month is I actually also opened a Capital One 360 checking account. And the reason is, is because it's, there's a lag in time between transferring money from my bank to Capital One 360 and vice versa. If we have a legitimate emergency, we need that money immediately. I don't want to be borrowing from other money that's already assigned. What we decided to do is actually to open this checking account. So we have an emergency debit card, Capital One 360 debit card. It's free. So far, I've seen zero fees. Okay, let's say my car breaks down on the side of the road and I have to call a tow truck and I need to pay them. I can get on my cell phone, transfer the money to my Capital One 360 checking account. I have my debit card. I'm good to go. That is our last category. And you will notice I don't have my giving category in here and I don't have my income category in here. I apologize, but the income, I got some really, really negative comments when I did this the first time. And I don't, I don't want people to think I'm bragging or anything like that. We are financial morons. We're getting much, much better, but we are financially idiots. And so I don't want people to think that you know, I'm getting on here and telling everybody how much money I make. I just don't. And our giving category, it's kind of like the category with my parents. It's personal. And how much money we choose to give is only up to Mauricio and I. And honestly, I don't, I don't think anyone needs to know where we give our money or how much we're giving every month. So anyway, I hope this is helpful to y'all. And if anybody has any questions about every dollar or anything, please feel free to leave me a message down below and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I'm putting two videos that you can click on to keep on watching next to me. So go ahead and keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.